Let's... All the way, Venus. We like to come to the farm and practice their command out of leash. It's the perfect place to practice them because no cars pass by here ever. So like that, we could train them out of leash but in a safe environment. He's practicing Venus um, heel command out of leash. Then we will do Apollo later. We do one dog at the time. Normally he's the trainer. I'm not that good with the remembering all the commands and all of that. So we do one dog at the time. Boy. Now we're doing Apollo. He is practicing his sit stay with distance. I think they're done, they're ready to go home or for an ice cream. Venus, what do you think? Can we get an ice cream? An ice cream? Uh, so we definitely don't recommend that you just take your dog and let it loose off leash just anywhere um, obviously train your dog uh, start off with good old-fashioned training uh, and clicker training is what we did with them uh, luring and making sure that their their commands are pretty solid then we uh, we started taking them on more walks we we tried to get them used to distractions uh, just take them anywhere and everywhere. You know, if you get them used to just training in your kitchen, they're going to be an amazing kitchen dog, but they're not going to be great outside. So definitely try to train them anywhere and everywhere you can. And that way he'll, he'll get used to more distractions. Um, and I recommend before you go off leash, maybe get like a 20 foot leash, 15 foot leash. And you go with that. And eventually you'll start dropping it on the floor and just letting it, you know, just drag um, until you feel like you're ready to take the leash off. And then sometimes what you could do is get like a short one foot leash. Just something real short like that they don't tangle their feet on it. And that's just in case there's a, a distraction that you see that might be coming. Um, you call your dog to you, then you can hold them. Um, but then finally when you feel 100% solid that your dog is going to listen to you and come back to you when you call them, then you can finally take the leash off. So definitely don't just take the leashes off your dogs and say go front and hope that it comes back to you. It may not happen. <laughs> And Malamutes and Huskies are very stubborn breed. Yeah, they're actually bred to not listen sometimes to their owners. Um, Malamutes at least, uh, in, the, in the Arctic, they actually have them for pulling the sleds because if there is ice, um, when there's water under, if it's really thin, 
the Malamutes actually will not run over it. And they, the, the owners actually want that. They're bred to be stubborn, so they'll go around it or do whatever they want kind of thing. Um, they'll listen for the most part, but there's times that they, they're going to be dogs and they're going to want to run away. So train your dogs and don't just let it off leash, you know. Come on, buddy. Good boy.